today, I'm going to start showing all of my Facebook friends how to program an open office. This is a $20, $25 value, but all my friends are going to get it for free. Now, to start programming an open office, you download it, then you go to the open office tab database with us. The first thing you want to do is create a new database. Then you want to go to next. You want to register it and you want to open the database for ed editing. And then what you want to do is you want to hit finish. When you hit finish, you name your database what you want to name it. I'm going to call it just make a short database for fuel law. F U E L space L O G. You call it fuel law. Now let me do it in cap lock. Uh, cap lock. F U E L space L O G. Okay, that'll be the name of the database. I'm going to save it. I already had one name that in there. So you won't get this in. But yes, I do want to replace it. Because I'm showing you again how to do it. Fuel law. Okay. Once I come up to there, what I want to do is I want to create table in design view. And what I want to do for my fuel law table, I want to put the city I buy the fuel in. Then I want to put the name of the station that I bought it from. I want to put the price I paid. Then I want to put the gallons. A L L O N S. I want to put our uh, date. C A T E. I want to put time. Oh, this is very critical about the time. So you'll know how much average you get. And then also, we're going to put another screen right there called Note. N O T E. And we're going to make this a memo screen so it can hold as much information as you want it. Now, what I want to do is I want to save it. First, I want to close it. Once you get everything you want to do here, once you get all this in, you want to close it, and it's going to ask you to save. The tape. Do you want to save the change? Yes. Table name. And we're going to call it L-U-E-L space T-A-B-L-E. We're going to call it fuel table. We're going to say OK. And it should a primary key be created or not. Yes, we're going to create one, and this will keep all the all your indexes, so you can do a lot of indexes. So we're going to create a, a primary key, and now the fuel table is created. Let's look at the fuel table here. You'll see, you got ID is your index key, your city, station, price, gallon, date, time, and note. Now, what you can do if you want to work with this stuff on a table view, you can actually uh, spread these things out so you can get more info, so you can see your whole information in. But we ain't going to work with that right now. We're going to close that. And the next form we're going to make is uh, we're going to save it because I stretch those things out a little bit. So we're going to save it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in there and we're going to open it back up. Open off his baby. And then we're going to go over that existing database. We're going to go to fuel log. We're going to go to fuel log because we open it. We don't create the database. So we're going to hit finish there. And the next thing we want to do is we want to build a farm. Now, this is what we're going to do on farm. We're going to use the weather. 
if you want to create a more fantastic farm with a lot of bells and whistles, we create the end design of it. One day I do the program so you'll learn how to create everything in the design field. But right now I'm gonna use the wizard. Okay, use the wizard to create farm. And once I get the wizard up there, I'm gonna call this uh set I'm gonna build it off the table farm. See, so I'm using the the table, field table, field farm. And I'm gonna push everything over. I pushed everything over. You can push it one at a time, but I pushed them all over. Then I said, next. I don't want to add no sub farm. Sometimes you can have a sub farm with the farm to put in more information. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going next. And the type of farm we're going to get, you got a chance in this wizard. Now, this is doing it with the wizard. But if you're doing it without the wizard, you would have to drag each one of the field down one by one. So we're going to try to use this main farm. We got four different main farms to use. So we're going to use this one. And you see, you see what you get up here on the side, or on the main farm. Okay, now, then you go next. And then uh, the farm is to display all data. You can use it for any data. You can set whistle bells and whistles to stop it from doing something, but we ain't gonna worry about that now. We're gonna go next, and we're gonna make it a 3D look. So, uh, and then we're gonna make it the color base. We, yeah, let's stay with that color base. And we'll go next, and, na and name of the farm. We're gonna name that Field F. O R M. And then we're gonna say finish. And now we got the name of the farm. So you can drag all these around. You can put a head up there or a field farm or whatever you want to do. But right now, I'm just showing you how to do the basic programming in uh, Open Office Oil 4.01. Okay, now we're gonna stop here. And I don't know how many minutes I went. I wanted to make this thing less than 10 minutes. I might have to chop it down later on. We're going to do our query. We're going to use Wizard to create a query. And we're going to use all the fields. And then we're going to go next. And then we're going to start by ID. You can start by city or anything you want. But right now, we just going to start by ID. But then you could do a secondary, third, and fourth there is sort. But we just going to do a single sort on this. And we're going to go next. And then we could do a sex criteria here. But we ain't going to do that for this quiz. We want all records to show. So we're going to go next. And we want it to be a detail that show everything you could make it a summary query of aggregated aggregate function but we ain't gonna do that we're gonna do a show all things and then we're gonna say next and then you could change the name of the of the table the header name right here if you want but we're not gonna change them we're gonna let it stay like that and then we go next and then yeah you you, you begin to see the SQL has a row. See, no condition assigned, no group, and no grouping condition was assigned. But that's your actual SQL language right there. So once you learn the SQL, you can actually write it without doing all of, without doing all of this thing right here. But ne never mind the SQL. I'm going to do finish, and there go our curve right there. Now you put your information in, all your information in, and then you'll have the query. But you need to go back to your farm to put your information in. Go back to your farm, put your information in, just to do the query. Now, we're going to do the last thing on this query here is we're going to do what you call a report. We're going to do a sample report. Uh, and we're going to use Wizard to create this report. Then we're going to 
push everything over. So we're going to say next. And we can see what the clothes look like right here. And then uh, how do you want to label the field so you can change the labeling right here. And then you could, uh, do you want to add a grouping level? You can group by certain things like you want. To print it all in one city, then group to the next city. Or you could group by station. Or you could do any type of grouping that you want. But we ain't gonna group or just for the simple of programming, we just gonna go next. Okay, wait a minute, I got to go back. I got to go back, back. Grouping level, no I don't. I don't wanna add a grouping level. So I'm gonna go next. Sort by, we're gonna sort by ID. The ID number, we're gonna next. And uh, we're going to go tabular. We're going to go next. And uh, we're going to call it report. See what we're going to do. Report. L E E L V R E P O R T. We're going to call it field report. And instead of static, we're going to make it a diamond report. And we're going to say modify the report. You can modify, you can create it now, but just for the simple programming line, we're going to cre create a report now. We're going to hit finish. And there goes your report right there. All the information will be up under there. Now, this is uh, the basic of building a report in Open Office Oil using the Wilson. Uh, using the Wilson. Now, if you want to go in design view, you can put it up, put headers on it, and make a lot of pretty, make a lot of pretty reports there. But right now, uh, David Johnson just want to show you the basics. Thank you for watching me do a report on Open Office Oil 4.0. Trying to shut it down. Let me see if I can do it. Shut it down. Let's shut it down. Okay, what I hear.